Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 1 End of Course Practice Test 2, question number 51. Question says, Peter is flying a kite and is standing 15 meters away from the point directly below the kite. He holds the string 1 meter above the ground. The length of the release string is 17 meters. How high is the kite above the ground? Now the reality is you have a nice triangle here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a mention to myself so I remember that this is plus 1. So no matter, or over here, plus 1, whatever answer I get, I need to add 1 to it because he's a meter above the ground. Now, I know that I have two sides of a right triangle. And when I have two sides of a right triangle, I'm probably going to use the Pythagorean theorem to back myself up. I'm going to look at the old formulas page here. And as you can see, right in this general section right here, there's a right triangle, and it says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It is the Pythagorean theorem. It even tells me what the sides are labeled, so that's pretty nice. So I'm going to hit 60 there and go back to the question. Now, I'm going to write that down, the formula, I mean, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, I'm going to put my finger or pen or whatever on the right angle. The two sides that make it up are the a and the b. So, since I don't know what this is and I'm going to need to know it, that means 15 and x are my a and b. And it doesn't matter what order you put them in because uh, addition is commutative, but I'm going to go ahead and put x squared there plus 15 squared equals the c squared would be 17 squared. So I just need to solve it now. Um, 15 squared, of course, is 225. Pin did something weird there. Uh, 17 squared is 289. In order to get rid of the plus 225, because I'm trying to get x by itself, I need to subtract 225 from 289 and it gives me x squared is equal to 64. Now the last thing that you always need to do when you do a uh, Pythagorean theorem question is to take the square root and the square root of 64 is 8 so x is equal to 8. The reality is I told myself that this would be 8 but I needed to plus 1 so 8 plus 1 is 9 meters off the ground. They're trying to trick you with the whole 8 thing. Um, they want you to pick that one because they don't want you to consider the fact that he's holding it a, bit, a meter higher than your actual question, which is a little bit of a shady move, but it is what it is. Um, the other ones, I'm guessing, are probably if you plugged in um, 15 and 17 for A and B, and you found C, and you're really finding the wrong thing. So make sure when you do the Pythagorean theorem, you make any weird adjustments that they expect you to make, like the plus one thing. Touch the right angle. The two sides that make it up are A and B. Write your formula in the form that makes that happen, and then you should be fine. So um, good luck with question 51 and your test and everything else.